Welcome back to the program. This episode, taking a look at another uh, arcade um, themed beer, I guess you could say. Uh, this one here, well, you can see the Mortal Kombat characters on there, right? Uh, Sub Zero and uh, Noob Saibot on, on here. Um, definitely has that Mortal Kombat theme to it, right? You see the two of the main characters there. Arcade game that came out in, I don't know, early 90s or something like that. It's a video game. And this here is from Angry Chair Brewing. It's a collaboration. It says right on the back. Collaboration, brewed in collaboration with our friends at Lowry Parquet. So I looked up, that's like somewhere in Florida, Southern Florida, something like that. It is a sour ale with kumquat and marshmallow. So kumquat is a fruit. It's like an Asian fruit, Southeast Asian fruit, like a little orange thing. Uh, I've never had them before. I've seen them in the actual supermarket before. I think I've seen them at Jungle Gyms International Market. Um, but I've never had them before. I just know it's supposed to be like a tangy fruit. So marshmallows and kumquat, which is like a tangy orange fruit, I guess you could say. It should be very interesting, a sour ale with those things in it. Uh, ABV on this, does it say on here? ABV... I don't see it on here, but you should be able to look down in my description of this video and see it. Uh, I'm going to guess it's probably not real high. But yeah, it's kind of wild that they don't have it on here. Um, but anyhow, check out the artwork there. Screams Mortal Kombat, right? Sub-Zero character, probably the most popular character. Maybe the most, arguably the most popular character from... Uh, the Mortal Kombat series. So I'm going to crack it open. And I've never had anything from Angry Chair Brewing. Never even heard of them. Until I picked up this. And the only reason I did. I was going for this sci-fi. Video game. Arcade. Comic type of theme here on the channel. In January 2024. And this fit the bill for that. So I'm going to crack it open. Get a pour on it. And that's what it's all about. I'm a huge sour fan. Right? I don't know if this is a slushy sour, it just says it's a sour ale. So we'll find out together as I pour this thing. No idea what color it's gonna be either. That orange, I'm thinking, figuring it's gonna look, yeah, about like, that's kind of what I thought it would look like here. Now, if we produce a head on here, it's probably not gonna stick around too long. I'm not sure, it looks like this is called Noob Kumquat. It looks like he might have a type of fruit in his hand right there on the can. So, uh, it looks very carbonated. Uh, the head stays pretty quick. It's not going to stick around or anything like that. Typical to the style. Color on it, just that golden orange color. Oh, I definitely smell the marshmallow. Just the sweetness from that marshmallow. And it is like an orange tangerine hybrid type of, I don't know, aroma. The nose definitely screams a little citrusy and like a very sweet, like vanilla, lactose or something like that coming through. Definitely get marshmallow, vanilla, lactose and a citrusy, uh, citrusy notes coming off of this nose, so. There's a good drink on it, see it's all about. Okay. Light bodied mouth fill. Good carbonation. Right up front, tip of the tongue, beginning of the palate. Just sweetness, sweet vanilla, lactosey, marshmallowiness. It actually does have like a marshmallow cream uh, type of taste to it. Now, I don't know, man. Kumquat fruit. I don't know if I've had a beer with that in it before. No, I've never ate one. Um, it's kind of just. Kind of a citrusy, mild citrusy, bland 
orange, bland orange, tangerine taste as far as just the fruit goes. But you couple it with the marshmallow lactose, the sweetness from that, like a marshmallow cream, like I said. Um, it is a very weird, almost pastry fruitiness. It's one of those beers where when you put your, take a drink, your nose goes into the glass and you take a whiff, like it, when you get that nose, that's actually what it tastes like. It's very weird. Overall, I would recommend this. Um, I've never had it before. Never had, never heard of this stuff, this brewery before today. Um, if you're into sours, just trying out different type of sour beers. And this isn't like a slushy sour. This is just kind of like a kettle sour, like a sour beer. If you're into those things, those types of beers, experiment, experimenting with, you know, fruits that's really not native to the U.S., although I'm sure they grow it somewhere here. Um, you like marshmallow, creaminess, uh, vanilla, lactose, all that type of stuff. I would say try this out. If you don't like that, or you think you're getting a slushy sour that's been popular over the last several years, yeah, stay away from this because that's not what it is. It's more of a base um, kettle sour beer, really, honestly. Uh, anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media. Thanks for watching.